23 ways to wear a white shirt. The first thing is to wear some shoulder pads underneath. It turns it into something that has more structure. Number two is doing up the top button. Number three is the classic half tuck. It shows the length of the leg, float over the tummy. Number four, wearing a red lip. Instant fabulousness. Number five is tucking in the collar. Number six is taking a clip earring and making it a brooch for that added little sparkle. Number seven is to take some super cool necklace, put it under the collar and wear it like this, a little tie. Number eight is to take your shirt and treat it like a jacket. Number nine is with a little waistcoat. Number 10 is under a round neck long sleeve jumper. You can layer it a bit and gently bag it over. Number 12 is to take a little scarf that has some merit or something else and make a tie. Sad or something. Number 13, for lucky for some, is to turn it into a crop top by using your bra. And you can have a big crop going down at the side, or you could have a crop that goes all the way around. Number 14 is called the diagonal tuck. You do a diagonal tuck one way, and then you do a diagonal tuck the other way. And you just get a nice little bit of detail at the front. Number 15 is to do a little twist and tuck. The little button of mm -hmm. one side and going through and around the knot and going to the buttonhole of the other side and that will secure it. Number 16 is one of my favorites because if you've got a dress where the color is quite strong on you and draining, put a little shirt underneath. I've got a little bit of cuff that pops out too. Number 17 is with a long skirt and just increase the height of the waistband so it gives that slight Edwardianness. 18 is wearing it back to front. 19 is all of the front in, but all of the back out. Soft curve at the back. All right, this is one I saw on TikTok and I don't know if it works. What you do is you twist the shirt like that, and then you take the button at the back, you do up a bit, and you get a little brooch, and you make the most incredible drapes by doing this. Number 21, underneath a jumpsuit. This is a shirt under a shirt, and I love this. One of them has a collar, and one doesn't. And the last one I won't do, but I will tell you about. It's when you wear a pair of shorts that are too short and you wear a white shirt, which is a bit longer, and it pops out the bottom to cover your modesty.